here we go let's get this baby put together so I have put out all my pieces in groups that they need to be in um, just before I put them together so get out your glue and we'll start with this tires grouping which is going to be this tire with the white piece and the square and the red one with the square. You need to line these three up. So, let's get our white glue. And run it. I don't need my hair. I have my hair in everything. Run it around. And take in your black. Let's move these ones up. Take in your black piece. Line the square up. You want it to be perfectly lined as you can get it. It will help in the long run. Do the same thing with your red outer one. I just chose to spruce my tractor up by using a lot of glitter, glittered paper. And once again, you need to line up your square as absolute perfect as you can for this to work. Okay, so there's that one. I'm going to do the same with the other one. Just add your glue. Line it up. It's absolute perfectly as you possibly can. And get your last piece. put it once again lining it up as perfect as you possibly can and just give it a little tap down now with these ones there's actually three pieces here there's the two black tire pieces and the one white rim so we need to attach these three pieces Just attach a ring of it. Don't attach the spikes themselves. And line the spikes up with the circle. And I'm going with the little cut lines in the middle. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Do you notice that there's, yeah, you can see the cut lines through the middle. That's how I went. And just get your 
Give it a light ring. Attach it to the center. It's also a good time if you, <coughs> excuse me, are into inking. Um, I used to be, I think I do have some ink somewhere where you could, if you didn't, but I also use decorative paper. But if you just use black, plain black paper, you could add some ink work to it. Um, if you have, say, a white, um marker which i don't think i have you could use that and add some detail so there's always ways of adding added detail which you could have done to that tire too so let's just glue Touch and position so that the cut lines on the back piece are in the middle of the cuts cut out on the first piece. Making it look more like a rugged tractor tire which is the whole point. And just play with it until you get it in position. Wipe off the excess glue and there you go. You have two pieces for the steering wheel. They're identical. Just add a bit of glue. And we're going to just attach them. Just one right over the other. Just like that. All we've done is made your steering wheel thicker. Wipe off the excess glue. Put him aside. We're going to do the same thing with the seat. As you can see, I played around and I changed some of my colors. I didn't want a red seat. I wanted a black seat. So, I'm just going to put a white ring around it and have a feeling now it's going to look more like a toilet seat. But we'll see. Shouldn't have said that because that's not all I think of when I see this. There's the seat. You got your two pieces for the lights, very front. Once again, you're just going to attach them to each other. Sorry, I had to stop and let my dogs in. Gosh forbid they're not in with me. So we're just going to attach those together. And because it's easiest to always do this stuff before you get your uh, items together, I am going to attach two white rhinestones to the front to make it look more like lights. That one's glue is hanging over a little too much. Came off too much of the tape came off with it on the thing. 
So let's remove that. And that one's not quite in place. There. Come on. And now it's going to look more like it has headlights. This is definitely one fancy tractor. But it's a Christmas tractor, so it needs to be fancy. We're going to go with the little tire. There's four pieces. Your two black circles, one is a teeny tiny bit smaller than the other. That is the only difference. Just a little bit smaller. So make sure that you have the right ones. And I think we do. Line them up. Excuse me. So just add some adhesive. And line it up exactly in the center. pretty centered to me. Next you'll be putting the white piece on top. Just a little bit of glue. And line it up once again in the center of the bottom layer. I just was using this. I put it in the middle and then use that to guide it around. Now we're going to put the last piece on. Lining the tabbies, or the spokes, I guess it'd be called, up with the red underneath. I'll show you in a second. So you are you can see that lining up these spokes with the ones on the red. And put that aside and do the other one. Bit of glue. Doesn't take much. Not as if people are going to be horsing around and actually playing with these. Line it up in the center for some step or look. You don't have to have this exactly lined up any other way but through the center. So if you don't want your spokes to totally line up and you want it to look a little different, go for it. And now the red one, which still has a center in it. Drop it down. Got a bit of glue on my fingers, so I'm just going to use my pick to place it. And 
and the last one. Remember, line up the spokes with the ones below. And try to center them in there nicely as you can. Okay. That aside. Yeah, two more red pieces. And you just need to center one over the other. There's no rhyme or reason. As long as it's as centered as you can get it. pretty centered and then we have this one now we can start building as soon as we get this piece attached oh, I don't know if you guys notice my table or my for those that have been following me I've got my glass uh, top finally cleaned. Surprising how well it cleans up. Oh, that's pretty close. Okay. So now we're going to take this layer and you're going to fold all the score lines. you're able to, don't forget to use your bone folder or your scraper to get nice crisp cuts or folds. If not, just really give it a good, make sure you're giving it a good push. These little tabs, they come out to the front. So that's going to go like that to the front. These ones all go in. Goes in. He comes out. And your last tab is actually going to come up to the front. <coughs> so once you have it all folded, it should look something like What we need to do now is you're going to take one of your tires and we need to fit it in place with this one. So there's actually a certain way you have to do this. The spokes of the wheel below needs to be at the top. Okay, so what we're going to do is take a sip of our coffee, which is nice and cold now. And we need to fit this piece into this square. So go ahead 
and work very carefully. You'll need to bend. That's one of the reasons I said you're going to want to uh, and of course I used a real thick paper. There we go. Make sure everything lines up to make it easier. And you need to have it so that the top is going to have a spoke, if that makes sense. So this is going to be the top of my tire. I have a spoke here and I've lined it up with the middle piece there. So, just make sure that you have that lined right up and now you're going to pull it all the way through until you hit those two tabs on the inside. The tab here. And there's a tab here. Now we're going to glue to the inside of these tabs and attach them to the back side of the wheel. So make sure you have the proper alignment at the top of your wheel. We want spokes. So bring that in until that lines right up and then hold it for a moment. If you don't want to hold it for a moment, get one of your trusty, those ones are too small, clothes pins to hold it for you. Make sure also it's lined up right to the tire. So there's one clothes pin. And have another big one in here still. My grandson found my stash of clothespins. Make sure that that's all the way over to the side of the tire at the same time. Oh, just reaches. Okay, so that's one side. And you're going to do the exact same thing on the other, the other side. side. You're going to work this piece in through the center without ripping anything. So be gentle. There's no rush. sort of bend things a bit. There we go. Line it up so that you're going to have it Add a spoke. You're going to bring it all the way through until you get to those tabs. Make sure you have both of them right to the edge also. You want it nice, firm, no gapping there. And once you have it lined up and no gaps, go ahead and glue the tab to the wheel. Like so. Do both sides. Make 
sure they're right up there to the edge. Come on, just grab it. And this is, might be a good time to put that aside. Have a bit more coffee. That's all. We forgot to put this together. Ugh. Have more cold coffee. I've got some old glue dots I found that I want to get used up. So I think I'll just use them for this. not going to give it any height for that. It's just little dots of pretty much two-way tape. For those that haven't seen it before. If I used it all the time, I'd be a lot faster at it. Yeah, it's just little dots of two-way tape, pretty much. So I'm just going to move that out of my way. Line this up in the center to the best of my abilities before I push it down. And put that one aside. We are going to take the red ones and you're just going to glue them right on top lining up the teeth on both the top and the bottom layer so just add some glue and line up some of the teeth and also make sure you're lining up the center of everything And then just attach it. There we go. Do the same for the other side. Add glue to this wood. And line the spikes up. And the centers. And give everything a chance to glue and attach and we'll be back and this is when if you'd like to add a little brad to the front you can I have some that I actually was surprised that I still do have so there's some different sizes here one I don't know might be too tiny. Nope. That works. If I can find the inside. There we go. That will also help keep things lined up there for you. And do one on the other side. 
you can have any cute little brad you happen to have they do have some gorgeous ones out there you could even probably find a Christmas one that you could use and then that one so I'll just stick these now away. take your make some room here your four pieces and score them all or they were scored so fold them all on the scores <coughs> this just takes a second to do take all the pins out to this wood and you're going to attach them up here so let's get a little bit of glue onto that and line it up the best you can to the square there and glue it at the top. Oops, I glued it wrong. Start with glue on the right side, which is going to be the back of your paper. Line that up, hopefully with the top of the wheel does that be absolutely perfect just as long as you line the other one up exactly across from it that one exactly across from the other one and this is what we're going to use to attach the other wheel so let's just make sure that that's all attached give it a good squish in the direction that it needs to go in. So you gotta put that one, it's gonna go up because it's gonna attach to the top part of the tire. So let's add our glue to both. Grab one of the tires and line it up so you don't see it. And so now you have your look of your big tire. So we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So get your tabs going the right way. Want them going up like that. Add your glue, line it up so that it's at the top of the tire, and also so that it lines up with that part of the tire. Do the same with the last little block piece, fold it in. So, add your glue and line it up so it's exactly across from the other one. And that's it. Yeah, you want it as parallel across, parallel as possible. There we go. That's better. Add glue to 
of these tabs. My dogs are going to go crazy here in a minute because my daughter just came home. Add, line them up with the outer parts. And since I didn't have that attached that well yet, it popped right off. So line that back up. So that it stays where you want it to. The better you get this, the better it's going to fold for you. And do the same thing on the far side. Lining it up. With one of the with the edge of the tire and then make sure you have the other side lined up still. The other side is still attached. So as those dry, I want you to grab your, oh, this one. Okay, and you're gonna flip over the seat that's what that's for. Add, put glue there, add, attach your seat, like so. There's another piece here that needs to fold over. And this is where you're going to attach the light. Hope I didn't make a mistake using... Oops, I'm going to go the other side. A one-sided... paper okay, so like that now once that's secure Let's give that a moment there's a very, very small score line up here that you need to fold. Because that is how uh, it came off, so I'll put that back on in a minute. That is where we're going to be attaching, excuse me, the steering wheel. So just add some glue there. Hold your steering wheel there for a moment. Okay. Set that aside so that you don't have much weight on your steering wheel there. So I'll just do something like this. See if this helps. It will hold right there. Now I'm going to take this piece and you're going to add your sentiment to it. So we'll just add our sentiment right about there. Just got to make sure I'm out of the way so I don't end up getting tape on my board. Just got to put some tape on it. Spot like so, and you still need a couple more brats because we're going to be attaching the front wheels. 
get your little brads and get a front wheel and thread a hole in the middle and also in the hole in the middle of the red and then fold them that one aside okay so we have the we have the chimney stack on now you're going to glue this piece on the front so just run some glue around and get it placed why did you get so far down on your card front once you have that placed then go ahead and put your wheel in There's your other side. Doesn't this look cute? I love it. I love it. Next, we're going to fold this piece on the score line. And we're going to add our adhesive. And we're going to take our wheel our back wheels and we're going to put it inside and so line it right up with the fold line and it will line up just like that and it's going to stick pins in there to hold that so I can continue on and we're going to do the same with this side and lining it up Like so. So it's all lined up on the inside of your card. Now you need to get, now you need to add some glue to the inside, that little, little half circle thing that's sitting there, and bring that forward. to line up with the tractor. It will line up there. Just line it up. Let's go ahead and give it a pin. And do the same on the other side. This will help secure your wheels in place. And bring them forward.
I just put a pin there for now. We're almost done. Okay, so <coughs> you grab your piece with your seat and your steering wheel and your lights that are glued to it. And you will notice that there's another score line on the back. So go ahead and my card's definitely going to have a front and a back to it, but that's okay. I don't mind. You're going to put this directly in the center of your card. Lining it up right in there. with the one side on the edge like you had to the first card. So you got two of them now on that side lined up. Let's just move that out of my way so that we can get this lined up and then get some pins in there to hold it. Bring it over to the proper edge, which is right in that fold. I'll bring it over and try to show you here. Right in. Mine fell apart. That's okay. I wanted it to. Because I wasn't getting it right where I wanted it. That is for right there. And this, make sure I'm going the right way, will also be right in there. So I'm going to attach that. Get my fingers in the way. Right in the crease of that first one. Right up. Into that crease and secure it. Do the same with the top of it, like so. Now all we got to do is fold that there. Hold that one there. Glue these two together. And also this one. So you want to glue, might as well, to that at the same time. You're just going to attach that to the edge of that one. 
so it's going to be in the middle. So add a little bit more. Secure it. Just minus the clothespins, this is our cart. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful. The receiver of this card is going to love it. And to fold it, you just work it. It, it does fold. It's just the clothespins are in the way. So just work the folding. And you've got your sediment on the other side. Which the way mine is, it looks like a totally different tractor. But, yeah. So I did think that this would be a great one to wait for on I don't know what I look like. We'll find out. So I did think that this was gonna be and I'm sorry for the look. I wasn't exactly planning on going on camera today. But since this is Friday's card and the last card of the week for um, my SVG cut series, next week we're going to actually design our own cards with different um, card bases that you are going to be able to find free online. Oh, don't worry, I'll let you know where to get them all. And then we're going to cut them out on the Cricut. We're going to design everything on Cricut, on, on Design Space. So it's going to be pretty cool. I'm really looking forward to next week because hopefully you guys will then definitely share me your cards because they're all going to be so different. So until then, guys, thank you so much for joining me. This was the last day of week two, and I'm still standing. Um... But yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my blog and my website. I think it's two different subscriptions. Uh, so you don't miss anything that I do. I've got so, I've got huge plans, let me just say. And don't forget, my, my YouTube channel is starting to come up again. So uh, subscribe to it so you also don't forget or miss out on any of my videos. But uh, please use all my affiliate links. And take care, guys. Until Monday, happy crafting, and have a great weekend. Bye.